All right. Welcome back to the PCC podcast. And today, what we are talking about is what is our metabolic accelerator method? So a lot of people ask me the question, what is it exactly that you do? And how exactly do you help people? And what does it mean to accelerate your metabolism? And how does that benefit the big picture? Because if you are listening to any sort of content that I put out, that my team puts out, it's how do you lose weight and keep it off and not have to worry about this shit again ever, right? And so with the metabolic accelerator method, this is just a unique method that we have put together that honestly just blows a lot of what this industry has to offer out of the water. Uh, but it's hard to explain. So I was like, I have to do a whole podcast episode on this and I don't think it's going to be long, but it's going to be the, what you need to know about exactly where this came from, why it's important, how it works and why it's different and why it's going to be the thing that most likely if I kind of explain the background of who exactly this is for, and you're like, oh, that's me, um, why it's the method for you to see results. So the metabolic accelerator method came from uh, just seeing an increased number of women through the years of doing this. I've been doing this for eight and a half, almost nine years now that I've been recording or now at the time that I'm recording this, that's how long I've been coaching online and helping women with weight loss goals specifically. And so when it comes to the experience that I was able to build over time, I just honestly have been seeing more and more women who are not quote unquote failing for a lack of effort. And I think that is the most frustrating situation to be in, to be putting in the right effort or what feels like a lot of effort or the right effort and nothing's happening or your body's taking you in the wrong direction or you're just like really discouraged because you're not seeing the progress that you want to see. So this is kind of all the women who are active members in boot camp gyms, you're active members at a gym, you are working out regularly. That is something that you have already made a part of your lifestyle, or you're good at at least getting yourself there and putting in hard work. Uh, you have probably self-studied a lot, a lot more than like, you probably feel like you should have for the, for the results that you have to show for it at this point, but you've restricted calories. You've lost weight before. And that's, that's really common is you've lost weight before multiple times, but you e either are recognizing the pattern that it just doesn't stick and it keeps coming back. And you're like, why am I running in circles? And for a lot of women, it's like a cycle that we just see ourselves repeating. We're like, what the heck? We build the self-awareness of like, I don't like what's going on here. Or, uh, we are restricting calories and it's just not working. Like, it's just like, what the heck I'm eating 1400, 1200 calories a day. And I'm seeing no movement on the scale. What gives. And this also comes from this method and why we've really made this method our own is because of my story, my story with how I got into this and why I'm passionate about this work is because I was that girl. Um, and this is very early in my life and in my fitness journey, but it is something that I went through that made me really privy to this issue in particular and what I've been able to turn that into has made me that much more passionate about doing that for others and a healthy metabolism. is just a game changer. And so, you know, I went from feeling like I had to eat 1200 calories a day, thousand calories a day, even, and run for 60 minutes or do a 60 minute DVD. If you are listening to this, I hope you know what a DVD is. Like <laughs> we uh, are beyond those days, but I would do the Insanity DVDs, the P90X DVDs, and would just try to work myself into the ground. And then I was like scrolling through uh, at the time was a very preliminary version of social media, Pinterest, Instagram. I, I would save everything that I came across. 
And I was constantly in a battle with my relationship with food, my relationship with my body, my my internal health was in turmoil. I was missing periods. My hair was thin. My nails, nails were brittle. I had no energy. I felt miserable. I felt exhausted. And I also had horrible digestion, horrible bloating. And I would see my weight and my body do this. Like I, I won't, lie to you and say that I've ever been overweight and I have not experienced what that has been like. But what I have experienced is feeling very out of control with my body, feeling out of tune with it, feeling uncomfortable, unconfident. And like I, my body was just this shell that kept fluctuating and no, nothing I did, no matter how skinny I got, or no matter how much weight I put on as a result of these horrible habits, I felt like I was stuck and I felt like I hated what I saw in the mirror. It was never good enough. And so the key to solving this was learning about how to build a healthy metabolism. And that for me, I mean, that has been my, my foundation ever since 2014 or so when I started changing direction and moving in this way. So a healthy metabolism, here's why this is important. A healthy metabolism means that you process all macronutrients well. So there is a scientific term in the research that is called metabolic flexibility. This is something that's brought up, especially with people, patients with obesity. Um, it's something that you can measure in somebody's actual, um, from somebody's breath, actually, that tells you how flexible is their metabolism or the processes in their body to process multiple kinds of food sources. So for example, carbs versus fats. Somebody who is very metabolically inflexible will not have the ability to break down fatty acids at rest or at low intensity uh, types of exercise. And it's really important for your body to be able to switch between fuel sources in order to regulate weight long-term. And so metabolic inflexibility is basically you're kind of stuck in that area versus metabolic flexibility means that you're able to swap between macronutrient sources with how your body digests food. And a lot of things work better that way, especially weight loss. And this is also, this is a part of many, many reasons why you can be very overweight, eat very, very little, but still not be losing weight. Um, A healthy metabolism also means that you have happy hormones and that things are balanced. And I am always a little uh, like careful to say balanced hormones because I'll be honest, most of the people out there who say balance your hormones and fix your gut health are peddling something that they don't really know anything about. The science behind this is far more complex than somebody who just has a CPT certification to understand. And some of that stuff is even above my head. And I have a degree in neuroscience and we learn a lot about hormones. So what I can tell you though, is that you don't need to know everything to know if things are completely out of whack. Like if you're just not getting up out of bed in the morning, you're not able to fall asleep, you have no sex drive, you're not able to conceive for a child, like those are very obvious signs that you do not have happy hormones, right? Or you don't have a period, right? That's a big one. So don't have a period, too heavy periods, too long, too short, many, many signs. So with that being said, a healthy metabolism means that those things are pretty even and steady. Right. So if you have really heavy, painful, long lasting periods, it's usually not normal for it to be that bad. And there can be underlying hormonal metabolic issues that contribute to that. In addition, the gut is also involved. Again, I'm like weird about gut health gurus, but digestion. If you are not pooping once a day, you probably, and, and it's not a great consistency. It's not a great texture. Look up the Bristol stool chart. If your chart uh, value for your stool is not a three to four, maybe five, get that checked out. Take a look at your digestion. (laughs) And um, there's a lot of 
pseudoscience about gut health out there. But what I can tell you is that if you're not going to the bathroom, something is wrong, either sh short term or possibly long term. And then the one that we all want to, to have here, a healthy metabolism means that you're able to lose weight and keep it off because you're not just burning through all your muscle mass and lowering your metabolic rate by dieting over and over and over again. So quick fixes, things like slashing your calories, doing a bunch of exercise, just trying to out train a bad diet, just not eating can basically just take away from all the fuel sources in your body. And unfortunately, muscle is a fuel source in your body that your, your body will want to get rid of if it's not necessary because it takes up a lot of energy to maintain muscle. So if you crash diet, this is why you typically put weight back on very quickly because your muscle mass is very proportional to your metabolic rate. The more muscle you have, the stronger your metabolic rate is. If you burn away all your muscle on a diet and you raise your calories and your intake back up to normal, what do you think happens post diet? You balloon back up and gain all the weight back. That's why that works. So how the metabolic accelerator method works. If all that resonates with you, maybe you're like, that's totally me, or those are the issues that I've dealt with, uh, any or all how the metabolic accelerator accelerator works with us at PCC. If you're privy to like fitness, nutrition, terminology, you've been in the space for a while. It's not just as simple as doing a reverse diet, tracking macros and just reverse dieting. And then, oh my God, you're fixed. It is not that simple. And that is a drastic oversimplification of accelerating your metabolism. If you're new here and you had no idea what that meant, that's okay. That's most people. And um, there's just a small percentage of people that I wanted to call out there and say, hey, good job doing your research. It's not quite that. Um, it's really a whole lifestyle adoption. And so the first thing that we have to do is throw out the fact that we've been doing the same thing over and over again, dieting and having a dieting mentality of like, I'm just going to make these changes until I lose the weight. And then I'm going to go back to normal and adopt a lifestyle. We need to learn the foundations of what, what comprises a lifestyle that supports a continued healthy metabolism, because you can have a healthy metabolism, but if you don't have the behavior supporting it, your healthy metabolism will no longer be healthy in time. And so you have to live the lifestyle that supports these kinds of results and maintaining fat loss. And then with that, you're able to build in the steps to see fat loss, which might include a reverse diet or macros or calories or just paying mind to your nutrition one way or another to see results in a timely and orderly fashion. But then in order to actually keep that weight off, in order to have this be any different than anything you've done before, it is a foundational mindset and lifestyle that you must adopt that is different than this cut calories, carbs are bad, restrict bad foods, don't drink any of your calories, don't eat sugar, don't have this, don't have that. These are bad type of mentality and learning balance, moderation, and the foundations of a healthy lifestyle. And so how this works is the grounding principles of boosting your metabolism. And I have actually a cheat sheet on this. So wherever you're listening to this, if you want to message me on Instagram, shoot me a message on Facebook. I know we stream these uh, these podcasts, if you like early access to things, you can join our free Facebook group and we put early access to our podcast in there live. And, uh, you can go ahead and look at that and comment on that post here that you're watching this and comment metabolism. I have a cheat sheet that walks through these principles of a healthy metabolism, but we are going to work on building muscle mass with strength training and our foundations of our nutrition. We are going to work on supporting our nutrition in a way that is balanced and is not restrictive. It's not overcomplicated. It's not taking time away. It's not, it's not meal prepping for four hours on a Sunday. And it's not a list of good foods and bad foods that you're just going to hate life until you're done with our program. It is how can we take what you're currently doing? Like, let's get a baseline for how you're currently eating. We observe that 
for a short period of time. And then we start building in and scaffolding habit after habit and change by change at a pace that you feel comfortable with that actually makes sense in your life, right? And so the directive of, here's an example, the directive of you need to eat more protein to build muscle, to boost your metabolism, et cetera, is a very commonly said and known thing in the space. But the problem is, is that a lot of programs, macro calculators, coaches out there, when somebody's struggling to hit their protein intake, will say, well, here's a list of all the protein that you need to eat in order to see results. Now you should have everything you need to get that protein and take in. But what they're not taking into consideration is everything else that goes into that. So the reason that you might not be eating that protein for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, as many times a day as you need to could be related to number one, you maybe aren't, don't, know exactly how you like protein sources prepared because it's not been a part of your lifestyle before. So actually experimenting with types of proteins, the seasonings, the cooking methods that you like is a part of the process of learning how to build that habit in. It could be anxiety going to the grocery store and like not knowing what protein sources to buy. So in that case, that list is great, but that is one scenario. Another scenario is that you cook for the entire family. And so you're struggling to figure out what your picky husband and your picky child will eat in addition to what you need to have for your goals. And you aren't sure how to reconcile the difference between the dino nuggies and the meal that you need to have. And we help you find that middle ground with recipes that might make sense for everyone. And also like talking you through that too. Um, another one could be just, you don't prioritize time in your day to stop work and go eat lunch. (laughs) Like it might just be eating in general and you skip yourself because of where you put yourself on your priority list. So talking through that and actually helping you make that time for yourself could be the solve. There's a million other things that it could be right. That you're not hitting that target, but what we do differently is we go a layer deeper than just like, oh my God, you're not hitting your calories. You got to do better, right? Like that's what people expect of us. And no matter how many times I say this and I scream this to the rooftops, people still will sign up with us and still kind of expect that until we show them differently of like, no, it's really about helping you to gain a deeper understanding of what exactly you need in your life based on the knowledge you have on yourself. Cause the reality is no one knows your life better than you. No coach is going to be able to tell you they know you better than you know yourself, but your coach has more knowledge and more data and more case studies to know what patterns tend to come up for what types of people and what types of lifestyles to combine that knowledge with you to come together and say, all right, I respect that you know what your life is like, and you respect that I know, you know, what suggestions typically tend to pan out well for certain types of clients. Now let's put that together and like find the formula that's unique to you in your life. And that goes for increasing your caloric intake so that you can have a healthy metabolism that goes for getting to the gym, sticking with a training program, learning how to become comfortable in the gym or home gym, whatever it might be to do the workouts that are necessary for you to build muscle mass and not just burn yourself into the ground with HIIT workouts in order to see results. Cause spoiler, you shouldn't be doing HIIT as your primary source of exercise to have a healthy metabolism. And most importantly, just to make the shifts in your lifestyle, your mindset, your identity, that you can do this. You can maintain a healthy body weight, the body of your dreams, the body that you love, and that takes stress out of your life rather than adding to it. This is no longer that thing in the back of your mind that you have to worry about. You feel confident in photos and your body's a bit of an afterthought that you're at peace with. Like, how would that how would that impact your life? Like that is just like, for me, it's been the world. It's meant the world to me to be at peace with my body, to not have my body be something that holds me back from saying yes to things, from being in pictures, from just feeling at home in myself. And don't get me wrong. Everybody's got bad body image days, but when you put in the work 
and you're consistently following through on the promises that you make to yourself. And those promises are promises that get you closer and closer to an ideal self that you want to be. That's what this is about. That's why you feel confident at the end of the day when you follow through on yourself. And it doesn't start with this overwhelming sense of confidence. It doesn't start with you feeling like you can do it. It starts with a hope, an inkling, and the right support. And that's what the metabolic accelerator method is. I'm like on my soapbox here, but that's what the metabolic accelerator method is. And it's so much more than just a calorie method or a way that of coat, a, a way of manipulating uh, nutrition and training that is like a formula that we can just throw at anyone. It is a tailored method that we, it's a mindset we take into our relationships with our clients that makes them successful. So anyways, the science behind it is the me metabolic part that I talked about earlier in the episode. <laughs> and then the psychological side of it, if you couldn't tell my background's in neuroscience and I love this stuff, I love helping humans get better and grow. And that is what our method is. That is what PCC is all about. That's how we help you create permanent change. Now I'm on my soapbox. If you are interested in what I have to say here and how we can help you, if this at all resonated with you, just go ahead and send me a message. I'll put my Instagram. That's typically where I'm always at easily reachable there. And just let me know you're interested in coaching and we can go from there, figure out if it's a good fit for you. We offer free consultation calls so you can see and just feel out if what I'm saying here is lining up with, you know, how that fits in your life. And if not, we'll tell you and we'll be honest, but if it is, then we will be happy to work with you and help you transform inside and out. So without further ado, I'm going to get off my soapbox, but I am really passionate about this topic, if you couldn't tell, and I am excited. I'm back from vacation. I've got my tattoo now, and um, I'm rejuvenated. I'm excited to just bring our mission to the next level and what I want to do for you all here who's listening to this on the podcast, the Facebook group. I just appreciate all of you, and I'm excited for how we're going to better your lives, whether that's your client, your silent observer. Um, and thank you so much for listening. So hope to see you back next week.